Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on Mr. Blue Farms. Today we are here at Cherry Hill 17. How y'all doing today folks? Oh, I'm doing this peachy myself. Oops. Yep. Uh, it, it, it's your host with not the most folks. Up here uh, taking a look at these solar panels. It's a nice setup they got here. At first I thought it was windows, but hey, it's solar panels. Now I am up here at the, uh, I guess you can say garden center nursery type deal. Uh, you're going to see two blue things splashing on your map there. Don't pay no attention to them. One of them is for potatoes and the other is for something that's I have no idea for. Uh, apparently my screen just froze. There we go. Um, yeah, the ovens for potatoes. And you can see right there, third one over down. I have no idea what that is for. But as you can see here, our watermelons are going from 1,146. All that stuff is in the red. But we'll fix and get paid for it. Because look, they're fixing to scoot over. All I got to do is fast forward time in a little bit. Maybe. Maybe not. Hey, there they go. There they go. Now watch that money roll in up there. All of them's moving over. Payday for Mr. Blue. What are you, what are you talking about, Mr. Blue? You don't need a payday. Look at all that money you got up there. Yep. That's right. I don't need one, but we do. We gotta get this stuff to grow and gotta get some manure. Manure. And some compost. And I gotta slow my speed back down. Yeah, that's much better. Uh does it tell what we need? Ah, here we go. Mm, the water's pretty good, but we gotta keep these things going. Yeah, that's what's making our money right there. Alright, let's uh. Oh lordy. Look loud. Our mighty single train that's been running under tracks. Ah! Oh, oh, oh what's this? A Ford L9000? Yes, folks, I got this. I got this. I saw it, and I'm like, oh my god. I love the sound of it. I love the headache rack and stuff. It's awesome. Me sitting in there driving. Woohoo! But it's just a little too shiny. Too much chrome. 9,000 Ford. I like it, folks. But of course, this is a. Uh, where am I? Okay. Long ways from where I need to be, but okay. I come up here and get what fertilizer. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get any more. Let me double check here. We're up here at the other new plant. A zero. I gotta get more digestate up over here. We got um, 50,000 dry fertilized. Got some fuel up here made. And where's my trigger for this over here? We have 28% digestate up here. That's 
what, 357,000 liters. So pretty good on that. Um, I got a little grasshopper up here somewhere. Right Looks like we tried to spin there a little bit. Does have regular street tires on it? I don't believe that would do it up very well. And over there is our grasshopper. We almost into the grass and so. And no folks, I don't stay on the road very well. I should have made a course play route over here. I'll stay on the road, Mr. Blue. Well, folks, I am sorry. I'm kind of uh, sounding tired. I just woke up and I'm like, I need three quarters. Uh oh. I found this one off. I wonder who that is. But um, today is September the 13th. I'm recording this on September the 11th. Uh, just want to say a big thank you to all the firefighters and stuff that was up uh, in New York when all that broke loose. Uh, big thank you and prayers to all the ones that are still going through a rough time with the families and stuff. Yeah, folks, I've been getting that a lot. Um, I don't. I, I think I got too much stuff on on the map. I really do. I'm gonna start selling some stuff uh, as soon as I get this to the shop up here. Actually, I need to go up to up up. Uh, up or over? I go to yeah. I need to go up to Hill Six. Wow. Sometimes I found looking other ways helps solve that. And it's hard to stay on the road that way. Yeah. I need I need to slow down. This truck, it sounds like you got a rod knocking. Let's see. I, I think I got a course play route from here on out. Oh, much better. Transportation, farm to market. Nearest waypoint, drive course. There we go. Stop at the last trigger. This is a, another new addition I want to show y'all. The John Deere R4045. Pound one with the tracks. Now the boom and stuff still don't work. Now it folds up and folds up. But you can't raise, you know, left and right and anything like that or lower it up and down. It's, it's stationary. Um, still works pretty good. Uh, I do have uh, something else I want to show y'all first before I get into that. And yeah, it's where our semi. Yeah. Here we go. The trackers that we bought, I went and bought some planters. Pop out real quick. But these are the uh, 24 row John Deere planters. And uh, what we're doing, I'm oh, just going to get lag, I just have a feeling. This is our big boy. This is our that big one we had sitting at the shop. I brought it up here. And it was loaded with seeds and stuff. I got to talking to Mr. Morgan over here, and he said if we trade it in, 
He's got a farmer up north that's willing to buy it right now. So that would make us having this one free and half of that one paid for. Well, not free, but paid for when this farmer buys this one. So I went ahead and got two smaller ones to make up for this one. And I want to I want to show y'all. I've been here. Morgan already filled them up for us. Okay. And I also went and bought this one. This is going to be for wheat and barley and stuff we plant. And I want to unfold this and, and show y'all the difference. And how big this thing really is. Sorry, I was take some boo while we was uh, waiting on this unfold. Look at the difference. Just look. I want to back up this a little bit. Look at there. That's why I went ahead and got two smaller ones. And for one, this here is not as flexible you know what i'm saying it's so long it's not going to get into the gullies like the two smaller ones will so that is why i'm actually trading getting two smaller ones and uh this big boy here is going to be on that air drill over there and what's this Oh, don't run in the building. Oh, I ran in the building. Oh, no. A little lag issue there, folks. That'd be all right. We just got a little too much equipment sitting right here all in one spot. And as you can see there, it's, it gets pretty intense sometimes. So I'm gonna have to. We got a bunch of equipment and stuff that we don't need, and this is gonna help a little bit right here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sarah Sue made it up here. She drove the truck up here for us. All right. Uh, we're going to stop driver, pull that out, pull that out, and uh, I'll be alright there sir, so you can have the rest of the day off, or, or go to the shop and hang out or something. We're going to go ahead and sell this bad boy. Sell. There we go. Now we're going to get these two on out of the way. Since we got newer tractors, we don't need them. Oh, probably do, but we're going to most likely get some more and replace them. No mention of blue, you already up to seven hurt and not down. down. Well, you know, folks, we got to save up for another. Uh, this tractor's been great. It's probably not going to do it right now since I got in it. See how it's moving a little bit there? Yeah. A lot of things have been moving on this map. So, I did get, of course, you know, another mod or two. Been trying out some semi trucks. Um, the Ford L9000 that I got had a uh, bigger brother but it wasn't bigger go over here to this and it's just like this but it had a sleeper on the back of it and it looked just like it but folks when you're looking at it like this it was fine but you got in it 
it was smaller than this and the scale of it was way bad um, and it was L9000 LTL and it was on mod hub alright now we don't need these planters right now so I am going to leave them up here time being I'm going to need them on VO2 uh, pretty soon, pretty soon, we're, uh, uh, as you can see, you saw the, uh, the high boy with the tracks and the fertilizer on it, so. I want to apologize if y'all hear me sniffling, I do have a sinus cold or something that's going on. Woke up a little chilly and uh, sneezing my booty off. Alright, as you can see, we have the chaff over there, loaded with grass. Um, we gotta load our compost masher up. gonna leave him right here. We gotta go over here and seventy five thousand. We are pretty good. Oh man, they're saying eight things. Won't be able to get that green one right there, but Look at this. Okay. Well, I'll pull this one out. One thing about some of these tankers, they got uh, overload. A load and an overload feature on them. And sometimes they can put into one and you not want them to. Well, so. let it load. Go back over here. So we can finish filling up our trailer. Now, I want a, a short truck like this, but this sucker's loud. I don't know if I can put up with that loudness. Kind of sound like the rod's knocking it. Then again, maybe it is. I know my color green don't match the tank and stuff, but... Yeah, it's spilling. Mm, I didn't feel very much. That's it. Let's go over here and see what we got in our other tank. This truck, why not pull this thing and load it? Look at extremely slow. different trick on this. <laughs> Board you might not be able to make it. Might have to get a Kentucky on that. But anyway, I'm gonna show y'all something on this what I've been doing. Um test spray. Yeah I just made a test spray with this and this is where it comes out to look like it starts right here in this humble jumble of stuff and goes around twice but it goes around 
here as you can see these two lines here but then you see these lines here goes all the way through well our pond's right here I'm get it where y'all can see it see that pond right there that's right here it wants to drive straight through so yeah it's a big 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 no no we'll go ahead and drive course and uh, get a little spraying done here which are, as you can tell I already done all that I sprayed the grass and stuff too so yeah we'll let him do that and we'll be back to him in just a minute let me go over here we gotta take these load of logs off we got the big bud there on the disc slash plow um, as you can tell I've been doing we a little bit past where it plowed at and I got it up to there um, yeah, just been trying to take care of this, so, uh, no course loaded, so we're going to go, field number one, tree, two, sawmill number two, that's what we got, I ain't put it in the boat yet, uh, we're going first waypoint, and as you can see, I, I done sprayed all of that there, up to there and done some ends right here which is gonna hurt me because it's gonna come way down here to spray. And uh oh booze on the sprayer. Booze up there probably turning around right about now. So I'm gonna put a first waypoint on this drive course uh, stop at the last waypoint. Uh, first waypoint, or uh, first things right up here. So, okay. I thought I was. Well, uh, where's my spur? That's just great. I don't see it nowhere. Y'all see it? I don't see it. I flat up put it in the jump over, go get in this truck. Should be one after that. There we go. It's going to catch Boo. No, it's a AG Baby Girl. I thought that was Boo. Um, Boo's up around the cow and pig area along with Junior. Oh, we got Bo Lord Gaming out there working too. Cool. J Metal 797 out in the field. Oh, I forgot about the combines. We'll do that here in just a second. Oh, the Kentucky trucks and traffic. Not good. Looks like I stop this driver. This is where this has really been getting me because, as you can see, I done sprayed right there. I've also been using this as a guide to gonna help me. Yeah, let's see right there. And drive course. Oh, don't you act up now. I was on the wrong one. I tried to make a curve. Now I drive course. There we go.
All right, we're gonna go start our combines up because we got to get done with the harvest. All right. Uh, Bo Lord's right behind, or no, J, J Metal 797's right behind us. So he's like, come on, man, let's get this party started. Yeah, right, there we go. We are cutting the rest of the wheat, which we don't have very much. Now let's get our other combine going. Yeah, a little pause there. There we go. It's already cut a little bit. We're just down here around field one. Come on. I, I don't know if these are auto saves or what, but see, it's froze right now. There we go. I think we're dealing with a little bit of lag issue myself. There we go. So we're starting in the very south corner down here. Oh look, my mom's traveling. All right. Sorry, folks. Boo's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, uh, "Recording." I usually don't do that while I'm recording, you know, takes and stuff. It's, it's kind of like taking away from y'all. Bo Lord Gaming is our little look. I thought, okay. It's the only thing I, I hate about it. These shouldn't have takes hired worker spots. Okay, Betsy, okay. Okay. All right, Boo is here too. We got Betsy down here. No, that's Bubba. That's Betsy. Uh, hey, we actually got a pallet. Well, almost a pallet. Whoa. Cool. It is very laggy here. I gotta get rid of some of this equipment. Uh, probably gonna keep the bumper. Uh, Yeah, we can get rid of this piece here and probably that weight will keep the roller, get rid of the stole bucket there. Well, and that's, that's something we're going to have to get to. Our sheeps are doing, let's look at our animals. I think they're doing pretty good. Whoa, our pigs ain't. Sheep's gonna need water, and our pigs are gonna need food. That is taken care of, folks. With all those sugar beets we harvested, or potatoes, whatever they was. Huh. Took your truck. Get the long extended. The extra long bed here. That's another thing. I need to get all these bales right here out. That, that could be causing a lot of the lag. Oh man, this is total mixed rations. Uh, which they need, the cows need. So we'll go ahead and do this real quick. So we got uh, my mom and Jennifer and J Metal down there doing the harvesting. And uh, got the spur going. Oh my god, we got the chicken spur. Alright, we got a little bit, then we're going to have to go check on that. Because I don't want to go all the way down because I'll be wasting a lot. And look at my money raise. Woo, y'all see that? I ain't checked on the sawmills yet. There's so much stuff to do for one person. While that's doing that, I'm going to kick this over to the cell point. There we go. Make more money. Yes, folks, I have been selling these. I'm sorry. 
As soon as I get one, I want to sell it. All right, Kentucky. Oh, wrong one. Where do I go? I got to get this truck out of the way up first before the little robot comes back. They can't move. Um, why am I not moving? I don't know what's going on with that, folks. My whole screen just locked. My game just froze. Oh. Why well, would I give it time to catch up? Call you Julian Vlogs, alright brother, what's up? I'm glad that parked it there, it saved it. It's actually supposed to come in, sell these logs. Oh, this lag's killing me. Sorry about this, folks. Alright, um, I'm gonna put this one back on. We're gonna start at the nearest waypoint drive course. And you're fixing to see all these logs get sold. Stop at the last trigger. There it goes. I should have drove a little bit slower. There it goes. Alright, good. And I am out. It ran out before I got there. That's that, that's good in a way. Let's stop driver. And uh, we need to get to our first truck. I don't know why it's doing this all of a sudden. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in to the garage and go ahead and sell a couple of things I've been wanting to sell. That will let me. Uh, all of these here we don't need. We don't need these buckets. So we're gonna go ahead and sell them. And a pallet fork I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep for right now because I don't know where it goes to. All these other extra planters we're gonna sell them, but I'm gonna take these up to the market shop and get more for them. Um, I'm looking for that big thing that's yeah, this right here. I'm gonna sell it. And this is the Ford that we got now. It may be causing a little bit of the, the lag issues also. 
but it's kind of hard to say. Um, we don't really need this, but I'd like to drag it up to the market shop. And these three plows, we can get rid of them because we got the bigger ones. There's a lot of stuff I need to take up to the, the shop. Uh, this, I don't really need. I can use a fork bell spike to get it. This thing, we got logs sitting on top of it, but we're going to go ahead and sell it because it seems to be a little laggy also. And uh, this combine here, I think it's freaking go because it's really unrealistic. So, yeah. And I think it should do us for a little bit. And again, you know, it might be this truck here. All right, stop driver. I'm going to take that course out for a little bit. And I am think I'm going to start working on clearing this side of the trees out. Oh, Lord, I can't believe I'm going through the trees. And I hit a tree. But folks, you see now how I'm buying stuff all the time. It don't take very much for the money to get back up there. I mean, well, selling trees and the pallets and stuff to sell. Now, I don't know if y'all can see this, but pretty much I'm going to take this. I'm probably going to use this as a guide. All the trees to the left of this truck, I'm going to cut. The ones to the right, I ain't going to worry about right now. I'm going to make a straight line through those up there. Pretty much just squaring this up for the time being. And then uh, when I get that done, we're going to... Oh, I want my combine. Where is my combines? That's what I thought. I missed the uh, Jennifer's driving that. Y'all probably like, well, who's Jennifer? A friend. Just a friend I know. Oh, this lag. It might be something here. Oh, I gotta find out what's doing it because it wasn't this bad. Actually, it wasn't this bad until I downloaded that Ford 9000. So, we might have to say bye bye to it. It really don't have that much horsepower. See how our. Uh, Oh, I need this combine. This combine is probably going to be going for a while. Man, that's already made a block all the way around where it looks good. Good. I wonder how that worked over in the wheat. Yeah, it cut a through through there. All right. Now, all this straw don't really need. But I am going to take it and put it in the storage. Once I put it in the storage, we'll be alright. And that could be a possibility of lag too. We don't have that much on the ground, but it don't take much to ruin a day. Alright, we need a. Uh, Let me get this guy out of the way. Oh, we all forgot we got some beans right there. Uh, we're going to wait right here till the new Holland John Deere combine comes around. Uh, let's go to the map real quick. Mm -hmm. 
And see, we, we got one and two. Nineteen. Three is one big one. I'm actually wanting to buy I don't know. I'd like to buy a fifteen. That's a big field. Can you imagine all the stuff we can plant in that? Have it nothing but soybeans. Let's go see how much they want for field fifteen. Shall we? Oh, oh, folks, uh, oh, I just got light headed. Ten million dollars. Richard Wright, you can keep it for a little bit. You can keep it for a little bit. Now, we already got one million, but come on now. I guess maybe fill four. We can join four and five together. Let's go to four and then go to five and see what they want. Four million. That, that's not bad. Four million. We might end up getting both of these folks. Now this is right across from our dealer. All right. Let's say uh, 3.5 million right there. 3.5 million. 3.5 million. And 4.6. So 3.5 would be 7. 8. 8.1 million. 8.1 million. So 8.1 million, we can get field four and five. And I, I think we can make it bigger. Let's see, let me put my speed back on. We're going to run across here. Let's run across here and look at this. What does our field look? Whoa. So we can kind of square this up a little bit. Oh, okay. Ain't gonna be able to get that out of here. We might can remove it. Oh, oh man. This ours. I bet you this is ours. Yeah. See, I could, I could. Go on Giants Editor and take all this out here and make it flat ground, but and again, you know, it wouldn't be realistic. Now, it'd be nice if we get a uh, I'm still thinking about buying now, that, that ain't bad, especially field five. We might get field five first, but what? what we can raise that kind of money. Was it 4.5 or 3.5? Something like that. My mind is so short, folks. My mind is short. Let's visit one more time. Get the price. Of, say 3.5 million. 3.5 million. We, we, can, we can do that, folks. I, I'm pretty sure believe we can do that. Um, folks, I like this truck, but it, it's just not going to do it. I, that's wide open right there. We're going to go trade this baby in. I'm going to get us another one. We're going to go get us a, a short nose Kentucky truck. Something that we know we got power. No, we've probably got enough sitting around. But.
Now I don't got one dose of fertilizer going on field two. When I get that finished, I need to cultivate behind it. So I think I'm gonna get a cultivator over there and, and get cultivating behind the sprayer. I need to get serious on that sprayer. So that's why I need to get. Uh, gotta slow my speed down. Not too fast for it. There we go. 76,000. It's a good truck, but it's just lacking the power. And so 76. This is where it's going to hurt us. But I want to go in here and show y'all anyway. It says, wait, we sold over 76 and we got 74 for it. Something ain't right there. Um, it had 420 horsepower. The Mac has 750 and 620. Um, we got these three Kentuckys, and I believe this is the latest one. Uh, I probably need to remove this one. Um, it was just his basic, you know, just a back attacher. There's all that it's got. Uh, this in here has the three point attachers front and back. Uh, very high motors in them, 3200 horsepower. Um, next one down, come on, quit lagging. There's the LP injected with uh, 2,000 horsepower. It's still a lot. So we're going to go with 800 horsepower. Try that. We're going to go with the darker blue. We're going to go with the standard tires. A um, little bit darker. Go with like that top shade gray, and yeah, I'm going through all that. 169,700. It's it's worth it, folks. It's going to help us out a lot. And there we go. Head on over to Kentucky Farmer on YouTube, folks, and Facebook. I think he's got a Facebook. And, and look for that logo right there, Kentucky Farmer. Uh, puts out some excellent videos, very tutorials. His tutorials will teach you how to do horseplay and all that good stuff. We got a PTO in the front, along with a three point hitch. Same in the back, PTO, three point hitch, a fifth wheel. And if you get the XL, that will be for the AR frames. Um, this baby's got the speed and the horses. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, bad spot. I have lag. Whew. Feels like I didn't do that in this episode. This map here is very time consuming. It's that's why I want a short truck for you to turn short. Now let's see the difference. Like I saw some tires spin a little bit there, but big difference on the speed. All right, uh, we got a way to drive down south, so um, tra transport market shop to farm, drive course, stop at the last. Hopefully, we'll catch him before. Oh, we we'll have to beat the train. Uh oh, there we go. Um, let's see. 
I'm just going to go ahead and take this, drive over to here. Because I want to keep the truck out of the field as much as possible. And realistically, they will drive over like that. But folks, I don't think we'll have a problem doing the... Oh, Kentucky's in traffic. Um, uh, Dad's gonna look to who was driving that truck before us. Stop. What happened here? Didn't get very far. Oh, it's going to the first waypoint or nearest point. That's what happened. Mm. Farm, mark, mark, two, farm shot. Let's try this again. Yeah. Do I have a loan I need to pay back? Yeah, I just thought about that. Oh, loan is zero. Good. Okay. I don't have to worry about that. I do have to worry about the pigs, though. Um, her. Except for a little robot. May crash in and stuff. So I hit the out button. I'll fix that for the end of the episode anyway. I'm gonna just de hire. Um, pretty much got no, one more weight to get rid of, it looks like. We need to go get more cows. We're gonna have to have more manure. We're going to get more fertilized. I got We're pretty much low on canola looks like we got some we need to get some sunflowers canola right here because we are out so uh Oh, come on. Get right down here, catch your truck. Oh, yeah, that, that blue Ford right there, I think we're going to sell it to you. Now we're going to keep the Chevrolet and not sell my, my Chevrolet. Now I'm just going to get this guy over here for right now. And we're going to go take the pig food to the pigs and then we're going to call it episode. We don't have very much, but hey, every little bit counts. And folks, I'm thinking about going in GE uh, Giant's Editor and taking the doors off these barns right here. I actually thought about deleting them completely out. We got plenty of barns. And that will open that up just for anything with regular parking, you know. 
I'm just gonna go this way to the pigs because it's better than driving through the sheep and stuff and taking a chance running over one over. Ah, I should know better. Should have made a bigger swing with this little truck. I love those gates. Ah, this is the part where I don't love. Uh, I'm having to back in. There's a hired worker there, and that's the only spot. Alright, Mr. Blue. Gotta get those backing skills going. Now, oh, we're waiting on him. Oh. Oh. That's my fault. Uh, so all they need is pig food and a tad bit of water. I gotta get another forklift tractor. Front loader tractor. Uh oh, we're getting more money coming in. Uh, I do have about three minutes left. So... Let's go over to Thanks to JCB. That should be it. Yep, that's it. See so I sold that thing and I put all these on the ground. That yeah, makes it where I can get to them better. We're gonna go sell these I got. I bet you by the time, if nothing comes up and I can play this for a little bit, I'll be able to get that, um, whatever it was, uh, 4.5 million, it's really not that far away. Wish I had a bigger... Uh, oh, yep, go ahead and fall. A bigger grabber. Now these are where I'm making my money. I guess it's full. Yep, it's full enough. Usually, uh, if I want a little money, all I have to do is just that right there and you can watch my money go up I know it's unrealistic picking up a pallet but I do have my muscle mod on now, a lot of time folks if you're experiencing all the lag like I am right before you close the game out or before you save come up here and um, sell all of these real quick and that will take some spots out where it will process a little bit faster ah come on don't do that to me sometimes it just don't want to pick it up Well, yeah, go to all of them, do that real quick. When they all disappear, save it. And uh, you won't have all that much to render. But I'm going to get all these logs and stuff out of here. Ah, that's where my forks, okay. Well, I don't need those forks. Man. All I need is a bell spike. These logs are trying to come out. All right, took one log there, which I'm trying to fix it where I don't have very many logs. Only cut them as I need them, and I got plenty of trees around me 
for this base and this base is at the very top left uh, there's another one down there at the uh, bottom left we come up a little ways about center that's another sawmill so there's plenty of trees around like I say for up here so that's why I'm getting rid of these logs and uh, when this one gets down to about 30, 30 liters or so we'll come up here and drop some Yay, I got them all. Well, folks, I hope y'all enjoyed. I am over on my time. I was going to stop right before the hour, but you know, Mr. Blue, I'm always over. Um, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for all your comments and stuff. Uh, please hang in there. If I ain't got to you, I will. Y'all just, y'all are awesome. Y'all leave so many comments and stuff. It's unreal. And I love it. So y'all, Mr. Blue's family, and y'all are awesome folks. Awesome. Yeah, this guy right here can take care of this spot up here. All I have to do is go cut a couple of logs, bring them up here, and uh, we'll be good to go. Which we're good right now. I'm going to sell bell spike while I'm thinking about it. Not bell spike, but pallet fork. But uh, folks, like I said... Thank each and every one of y'all for being so awesome and wonderful to me. You don't know how much it means. So on that note, like I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see y'all tomorrow on uh, uh, Shenanigans. That's right. So have a great day, a blessed day, and we'll, I'll see y'all later, folks. Thanks again. Bye.